Recognize my voice anymore? Eh? Haven't you had the crowd, the cock? I don't want any excuses anymore. You hear that? Just come out and cook some food. We we don't have to go to the farm in the afternoon. Every time it's work, 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 no rest. Farm, goats, young man, wrestle. <laughs> what kind of a man did I marry, eh? This woman does not know that I, I have been very patient with her. How can a man get up before his wife every morning?
the flute. The flute. Always the flute while the farm dies. Why was my father born so careless, so irresponsible and without an ambition? for good music? Should a man not be free with himself even at the early hours of the morning, eh? I think they're my wife. Music is the best food for a good spirit. But we should be getting ready to go to the farm. That is what I am doing. A man has to feel well with himself before talking about going to any farm I think my wife. Eh? Look, music is the best food for a good spirit. Now, <laughs> how do you like the, my new dance? Now, listen to my new tune. <clears throat> Look, these acts of yours are the things that make your son Okonkwa ashamed of you. Unoka. When are you going to be ashamed of yourself? I don't worry about him anymore. I gave birth to him. I gave him a new wife. And even made him a great farmer. What else does he want from me? Bread? Food? Money? Or is it water? I... I hear you. Put away that flute and let's get to the farm. Sharpen your knife and let's go to the farm. If you don't do that, you and I will have a very bad morning today. Uh-uh. <laughs> woman of my heart, keeper of my fortunes, the only one who makes who makes not got hard to melt. Eh? Remember when you were younger and how this flute and its beautiful music set a trap and caught you for me, eh? <laughs> and you married me and you bought that strong Okonko for me. Remember, David, the best and most beautiful woman on earth, eh? <laughs> Go to the farm. I shall join you later. Hmm? Early visit. <laughs> what visit uh, to early visit? Uh, uh, let me sit down before we talk. request that you break it. Uh-uh. It is for you to do so. Perhaps so. But I request that you do it. Well, if it is your final wish that he who brings cola must also have the honor of breaking it. May this cola give us long life and good luck to both of us and our families. You see? Uh, may God remove from us all the bad wishes of our enemies. He say, may this cola make our conversation today good and fruitful. He say, 
Well, here I break the cola. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Sergio. Mm. Thank you very much for the cola. You may have heard of the title I intend to take very shortly. I have. That is my third title. Mm. I wish you well. To count eggs, a man must make sure that his hands can lay eggs at all. And if they can lay eggs, then he puts the eggs together before he can count them. That is <laughs> We do not offer a sacrifice that we don't have. We cut down a mighty tree with a mighty hand and a mighty matches. That is true. I am gathering my eggs. Because every little thing needs to be put together to take this honor. Hmm. That is true. For those who prefer honor, even when they are not sure of their eggs. I am glad that you understand. <laughs> you have used so many proverbs to say a very simple thing. It became necessary. First, because proverbs are the palm oil with which words are eaten. Mm. And secondly, because I am talking to my friend about something he should understand. <laughs> Look at that word. <sighs> you see those lines of chalk? Each group represents a debt to someone. And each stroke of chalk stands for a hundred calories. What shall I do with that? Laugh or cry? Mm -hmm. That last group there, I am owing that man tens of hundreds of calories. He has not come to wake me up in the morning for it. Those creditors don't need their money as much as I need mine. <laughs> the tragedy of borrowing is just that one may not be able to pay when he should or when he wants to. Hmm? I shall pay you, but definitely not today. Not today. Not today. When will you ever pay? When? When? Oh, wait. You bear with me. Eh? Bear with me. Our elders say that the sun shines first on those who stand before it shines on those who need on that day. Don't worry, eh? I shall pay my big debts first. I am coming back, and I must get my money. Sergio, <laughs> I greet you. What brings you here so early as to make you leave so angry and so unhappy? Who oh, no, Kayapani? has made my money a greater burden than I came with. How? Oh. He owes me ten scores of cows and will never pay. Father, father, debts and debts and debts every day. I can't understand. We arranged to go to the farm early in the morning and here you are again as, uh, as a glute, as if it's the only thing that matters in this world. Who gave you the authority to, to, to speak to your father like that? Who are you? Father, you must stop all this and pay your debts. It is becoming a disgrace to, to my honor and hard work. Shut up! Shut up, Ogongo! Have I ever asked you to pay off my debt for me? And so what? You ask me, so what? You? Flutes and debts every day, nothing else. How can I respect you? You mean you do not even respect me anymore? Yes, yes, I don't, Father. I don't I respect you anymore. I don't. Shut up, Okonkwa. Shut your big broad mouth. Oh, Unoka, I have spoken to you many a time about the flute. Drinks, death. Your honor is that of your children. And theirs is yours. Unoka. When does an old man grow old? A man can learn from his children, you know. When are you going to grow older and wiser? Eh? Okonkwa, my son. Brother. Youth can be proud and empty. 
but anger must not stand in the way of wisdom. You never shall talk to your father again like that, for he shall always remain father to you. Okonkwo, that flute, that flute gave us life. It gave us hope, food, shelter, and whatever little honor your father may have for himself, for me, and for the family. That flute, respect, respect. I'm sorry, mother. Go and say that to your father, for it was he you hurt first and most. Go on. You don't have to apologize, my son. It is because you did not want to know nor do you want to understand. What is there to understand? My son. Get up. The greatest honor that you shall do to me, my flute and my music, is yet to come. But it must come soon and perhaps before my ancestors welcome me over. But my son, I want to see it. I want to see it with my living eyes and play the flute with my living lips and breath so that when that honor is done and the battle won, I shall have attained or taken the highest title and honor as the father of the greatest wrestler Umofia ever produced. Father, you, you hide your subject, spend so much time and keep me impatient while the farm waits for us. What is it? I hear that Amalilze the cat has wrestled all the champions and now has no challenger. He has good luck. He may retire unbeaten. It's a great honor to be so. He shall be defeated, my son. He shall be thrown by a man of whom mafia. And that man, my son, is you. Father, why me? Yes, this is my challenge to you, Kungo. Think about it wherever you go, whatever you do. Everybody get. Everybody okay? I hear you, Father. I go. <laughs> yeah. I hear you, Father. <laughs> My son. Everybody okay? What? I hear you. Everybody okay? Are you ready? Yes, I've been with you. Why didn't you tell me so just standing there looking at me? Father, I go to the town. Everybody get I hear you. Aga. Aga. Is it good? Aga. Go to the farmhouse and set up. Let me go and inspect my traps.
Today. Yes, it's the beginning of a, a new day, the sign of a very good day. What shall I do now? What do you mean, what shall I do now? You have come to the farm to work and you're asking me, what shall I do now? I know, but what work? Carry the yams to the farm. What do you mean, what work? Don't let me break your head. What work? Go and cook these things for me, first of all, and make sure you cook them well. What work? I tell you, Ludi, that man must be destroyed this time. If he thinks that he can win, that dream must be destroyed. I hope Okonkwa can take the challenge. My concern is about those little wrestlers in our age group. Okay. Your morning meal is ready. They rather than Okonkwa should challenge the cat. If the people say that Okonkwa should be the challenger, well, he cannot withdraw from the honor. Anyway, let's hear from Okonkwa first. Everybody get. Ago! Ago now! Hey! Ah! 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 You know, hey, 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 <laughs> Burger has been working so hard since we came in this morning. I can see, yes. I can see. So, America, mm -hmm. Elod, mm -hmm. what is it that brings you here that couldn't wait for me to come back from the farm? Time compels us to hurry to you for our honor and victory. What is it? Only elephants meet, and when they do, they grasp we know. You dribble me with words on which you pour so much palm oil. What is this bone on which you pour so much oil? Amalinze, the cat. What about him? He wants to retire as champion all over the land. So, what shall I do? Defeat him. How? Wrestle him. And if he defeats me? We shall not listen to that, Yabubedike. Melody, those who seek success must fear failure. Mm. You must cleanse yourself of the fear of failure. Looking back at myself and what my father was, Obierica, I cast it out. There are four of our peers who think that they should challenge the cat. Well, give them a chance for those who never tried, never won. We have agreed that four of our youths and yourself should challenge a cat. Not me. Do the people of Omotia raise their confidence in you? Well, it'd be so let four of them challenge one another. Whoever wins should challenge me, and if he defeats me, shall challenge the cat. And if you win, will you challenge the cat? Then it shall be an honor given and an honor won. Then, for the honor of the people of Omofia, I shall challenge the cat. There I stand. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there we stand. stand. I'm a lizard. What makes him think he can retire undefeated? 
bride before death, perhaps. Oh, Bierica, hmm? what makes him think he can retire undefeated? Ask him, Oh, Bierica. You know this? Oh, Bierica, huh? Ago, roar in flame. <laughs> Tiger of the forest. I challenge him. <laughs>
a warrior. Be a warrior as always and everywhere. Whatever your movements, remember Umofia. Mm -hmm. <coughs> For the back of Umofia never touch the soil of any other land. Mm -hmm. You go with our name and honor. Bring back our name, greater than ever. Yeah. Bring back our honor, crowned with greater honor. Yeah. I bless you. I bless you for whom of you. Go. Go. And the whole of whom of you shall come with you. Yeah. Yeah.
Stop here, Rika. Speak again. Eh, Bubedike. Aguna. Eh? It's me. I could have killed you. What brings you out so late? The sounds of war from Isiki. How are you sure? <laughs> I am the son of my father, interpreter of the sounds of war. I told you. I told you that Isiki is made of men who are stilty in words and in deed. So what do we do? Peacefully and be buried in peace, not bloodshed. But if this seeker has become insane and lost all natural balance, I, even I, shall carry the arms of my warfare to his seeker. Hmm? A warrior shall always die, a warrior. Mm -hmm. So shall I. Yeah. Yeah. The truth is the truth. Our messengers of investigation have returned from their mission. Mm -hmm. And they confirm that Ezeke has declared war upon us. Huh? Mm -hmm. And that their soldiers and their allies have come deep down beyond our boundaries while we slept. And that they are making their last movements to sack our fatherland. No more. I said this shall be no more. For years, Isike has mocked the honor of Umofia, mm -hmm. the land of the greatest warriors. This time, it shall be no more. Elders of Umofia, caution. Caution for to show caution is to be wise. Taizewa, sit down. Taizewa, the land of the warriors shall never be declared the land of cowards. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Isika shall have no more chance. For enough must be enough. Yes. Yes. Umobi Akwen. Yeah. Umobi Akwen. Yeah. Umobi Akwen. Yeah. 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 Where is one? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the lamb that wants to grow horns 
must first have its spine reinforced. If the seeker has the temerity to attack us, then it must have a reason. Set it down, Ozawulu, set it down. He who despises this, the smallness of a needle, eh, let him step on it. Oh, mafia shall remain oh, mafia, never to be trampled upon. Mm. Yes. Oh, mafia, Kwanu. Yeah. Kwanu. Yeah. yeah. Now, saying what should have been said earlier, I, as Eldo, by the authority of our council of elders, advised by our council of war, and in accordance with the voices of the oracles, do hereby declare war upon his city. It is by the same authority that I place the command of our warriors in your hands. Lead them. We want nothing but victory. Lead them. Let no soldier from Misika escape the tragedy they have brought upon us. The words of our elders speak my heart. My blood boils for action, for battle, for war. America. Listen. Whatever support you've given Okonkwo at time of peace, give it to him at time of war. It is time for blood. No man. A woman shall go to farm. Every man, woman, and every youth, and all our resources shall be put to the duty of war. So we shall survive forever. He yeah. said. Yeah. 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 You know, Okonkwo, you know, Ebubedike. The forces are great. They are. Uh, hell. There he comes. Okonkwo, Mwam. Ebubedike. Manjia Jemba. Odogu. Will you not listen to your mother anymore? Ebubedike. Ebubedike. Are you going to leave us? Please, Father, please don't leave us, Father. Father, please. 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 Have you forgotten that your father died when you were at war? Yes, but that was my father. Am I going to die when you are at war? You will not die. I will come back. Or you go. Every one of you has got a part to play in this. You will all cook for our warriors. Now, this is a war that concerns every one of us. And that includes you and you. Listen, son. Would you like the soldiers to come and kill you and kill me? Would you like it? No. Good, so I'm going to fight because of that. No. Boy, come, come. Please, Listen. In death, there is only death. The enemy is coming. It is hard to die. You are the man who is going to die. I'm 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 going to
Therefore, you are going to fight, and you must fight like a man. Will you fight? Yes, you will fight. Please, now, please. to battle and five times we have come home victorious yes. against ezek our strategy will be simple mountain lions of umobia i salute you Oh, yeah. <laughs> you must use the back of the mountain. Now remember, use no place. Because if you do, you will bring your to the enemy. You must move in the dark with very great stealth. When the order comes to attack, cut through the spine of the enemy. <laughs> Expose their flanks to total annihilation and assault. Okay. Anyone of you here that will not fight, deal with it. Better to be dead than alive, and they burden to our victory. If victory shall deliver no more of them, through the force of your wing or your group. Never forgive you. This is your moment. You will take the left line, which I know is very, very dangerous. Because the Enwali warriors are very, very dogged. But... <laughs> you must prove to all of them that you are better and bloodier. Now remember, not one of them must escape. Move. Mother Quinn! Yeah! Quinn! Yeah! Quinn! Yeah!
is the matter before us. The earth must renew itself. Trees die and new ones grow. Elders die, but their wisdom must regenerate and carry to times by younger generations. Hair never grew gray, which never grew black. Hmm. Okwonkwo, the son of Unoka, is the matter before all of us. Should he be amongst us? Should he sit with the elders of Umofia? Okonkwo, son of whom? Of whom and of whom? I have never spoken on this matter anywhere before. But if it is the only matter before this council, I am ashamed if no one else is. Who wants Okonkwo here? Ezenwa should say what he wants to say and not pour vile and vituperations on an honorable man. Obierika. You know what you have just done. I did it. I said it. You and I. Who is older? I know you are. Young man Obierika, when older men talk, young men sit and listen. Elders of Umofia, I greet you. Yeah. yeah. The foot of age must step with care. And the wisdom of age must show greater tolerance. When one foot moves forward, the other must stand back to support it. Okonkwa is one of our great sons. In every endeavor and activity, he has shown himself indomitable and a patriot. Ezenwa cannot challenge that. I stand to speak the contrary to Uzawulu. And my answer in the matter is no. Uh, uh, I stand where Ezenwa stands. Yes. Mazidigo, he that suppresses the truth deludes himself. Such a man is like a leper who claims that he has no leprosy. Mm -hmm. How can a man waste away the truth by the wave of his fan? Okonkwo, the master wrestler. Okonkwo, the warrior. Okonkwo, who speaks to any enemy and challenges him for battle. Okonkwo, the man of his people, the defender of his own people. Let honor be done to whom it is due. Let's one do what we have done. Okonkwo deserves a respectable seat amongst our elders. But I stand with you, Zawulu. Mm -hmm. Elders of Umofia, I fear that Okonkwo has neither the patience nor the maturity and control of an elder. Yes. Uh -uh. His leadership is only in battle, finish, yeah, not in wise counseling. Thank you very much. No, not here. Uh -uh. Words 
are rare. And the rarest ones have been spoken for a rare man, a rare fortune, a rare warrior. Who else could deserve a place as this? But the rarest sword the almighty God has bestowed on Omofia. That man is Okonkwo. He should be here. Ma'am. Elders, we must know what our fathers established. Now someone or some people have put their memories and honors beneath their feet. He is Okonkwo to sit amongst us to redeem the worthless image of his father. Oh, that is a better format than any of us. Did he have a harvest that we never had? Did he kill an animal that cannot be found again? That he defeated a Malinze the cat in a wrestling is not enough to move and penetrate even the head of a mad rat. Go on, mm. go on. When did the eyes of giants turn to the eyes of mere insects to regard a rat as an elephant? Not my eyes. Oh, my. Except in the eyes of those like him, young and unwise. Um, what's your friend? Yeah. Um, what's your friend? Yeah. First yeah. friend? Yeah. If I am alone, I will say no. Uh -huh. If I'm persuaded otherwise, I say not yet. Perhaps so that he may have time to prepare himself. Not yet. Not yet, not yet. No. That's all? Not yet. Those who have had me, have had me. Those who haven't, will never. Yeah. Umwabe yeah. friend? Yeah. Umwabe friend? Yeah. Umwabe friend? Yeah. And my old legs lead me back to my house, from where I come. It is time for men to speak, and I speak. Who amongst you here can say that he has it all? In honor, wealth, words, or oration? None. If anyone has it, let him speak now, before elders who forget that they were once young and youthful. Why are we so forgetful that it is only in the eyes of childhood that fears the painted mask? Let any man here say that he has done anything that Tobu Badike Okonkwo has not done. What has he done? Let any man here say that he has done anything better than Okonkwo. Who here has led us in more wars than Okonkwo? Mm -hmm. Who here has brought us more victory than Tobu Badike? Who here has negotiated with greater honor for room of fear than Tobu Badike? Has let him speak. I know the histories of your fathers and even of those fathers of the grandfathers of many of us here. Beware what you say. You hear him? If any man has anything to say, let him challenge me. <laughs> sit down, Ibe. Do not talk to me. Younger men should sit and listen when older ones speak. Do not talk to me like that, or else I can kill. <laughs> Um, Ophir, I greet you. Yeah. Men of integrity, I greet you. Yeah. Let history not be hidden. This ancient honorable council deserves a conqua. Yeah. It is an adage that those who hold back from a child what is his shall be tired of doing so and shall give back to that child what belongs to him. O Konkwa, Ebu Bedike deserves his honor, now or never. These are my last words. He's too erratic. That's what I see. He has the nerve. Kwenu! Yeah. Kwenu! Yeah. Kwenu! Yeah. Kwenu! Yeah. Land of warriors, I greet you. Men of Umofia, I greet you. <laughs> uh, the time has come for me to speak 
what I should have spoken earlier. But before I say anything, I must admit that the wisdom of our elders add weight to mine. Umufa Kwenu! Yeah! Kwenu! Yeah! Kwenu! Yeah! He who does not listen to the wisdom of the ancient is yet to be born. Honor is deserved and should be given when deserved and should not be denied when deserved. <clears throat> Umofia is a land of honorable warriors. A land of prowess, a land of men who say yes or no and stand by their words. How much yes or no can we say to ourselves and to our sons, and especially to a son whose greatness reigns before our living memory and beyond even faraway places? I speak of Ukonko, I speak of Ebubedike, our roaring flame. No one, yes, must meet for the good of all, for the honor of Umofia. The nose and the mouth are too near each other to be enemies. Yes. Okonko is a pride of this land and an envy of our enemies. Huh? Yes. His father may have been peaceful and judged weak, or oh, let that be. Should we now deny his noble son what his father never asked for? No. I have thought this very well in the depth of my wisdom. That will be unjust. The voices of our oracles say yes to Okonkwo, and I say yes to <laughs> <laughs> Let greater wisdom prevail upon us. Lest in following the trivialities of incongruent memories, we divide to allow things further apart. <laughs>
If we fail to honor those who, to whom honor is due, then we have failed our ancestors <laughs> and this land of mighty warriors. Mighty tiger. Conqueror of the cat. Come forward. Today, he will join the respected council of our elders. It is in this honor and with the responsibility bestowed upon me by our ancestors that I declare that Okonkwa shall be one of us.
In the commitment of my age and position, and with the authority bestowed upon me by the elders of people of Omovia, I plead with the gods of this land to guide him, protect him, give him wisdom and bravery. To do what he ought to do and serve the people of whom of you are. He said, You have tested him in the thickest of forests mm. and in the most heinous rivers, and you found him strong and undaunted. Bless him, he said. Bless him, he said. Bless him, he said. does not perceive the smell of excrement. Dead, please. Sweet music for the dying. For this Mbano, you deserve to be wiped out. This day of happiness shall not be destroyed by the cries of war. Can't you hear the chant and cries of our youth? 
the riots and know not the burden of war, not the burden of blood. Shall we be cowards on a day of joy? It is for room of here to decide, Okonkwa. This is a dangerous moment. But where is it? The youth are with your words. You of I agree with you. Yeah. You are angry and full of fire. Yeah. This is a very dangerous moment. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. will speak for me. Umafia Kweno! Yeah! Kweno! Yeah! Kweno! Yeah! Kweno! Yeah! yeah. Those sons of wild animals have dared to murder a daughter of whom I fear. Cry! To fear! <clears throat> but you have had our youths chanting anger, demanding a war against him by no. Mm. We have come here to agree to decide whether to go to war or to allow them to go free. Those cowards! Those cowards! Who would prove their manhood by killing a woman. I say we march on Numbeno, for they cannot breathe while we die. Umba! Umovia, Quenu, yeah! Quenu, yeah! Quenu, yeah! Quezionu, yeah! No one sees a bushfire raging and runs through it. They no knows of what stuff we are made. Can they provoke us? No. Knowing they are no match to us in war? No. So, let us be cautious. Let us send emissaries to Mbeino to find out what the truth is. No! I said no! Who will be a queen? Yeah. Who will be a queen? Yeah. Who will be a queen? Yeah. Be a queen? Yeah. I said no! Those who are afraid of blood should stay at home and mind their wives and children. While those of us who are warriors and true sons of our fathers go to the battlefield to prove our manhood. That's what I say. Mm, I wonder who your father was. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anybody and you know it. I know your type. They cry battle and do peace. I'm not afraid of war. I'm not afraid of war. I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid yeah. of you. Umoja yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenzo Anu. Yeah. yeah. Elders of Umofia, let us not forget what we're here for. Or the tragedy before us. Elders should not allow their tempers to overrun their ears and mouths. If Obuefio Konko and Ezenwa have any private disputes, they should forget it here. Yes. We are here to discuss a very serious matter. Huh? All this. Yeah. Who mafia Queno? Yeah. Queno? Yeah. Queno? Yeah. Quezueno? Yeah. And who does not know that the kite must breed its kind? Who mafia breeds men of action? Yeah. Who mafia breeds men of war? Yeah. But. But, we must listen to the lonely voice of dissent. You strike me as if you have something more for our ears. Yes. Elders of Umofia, I greet you. Yeah. War 
is death for those who utter cries of blood. Nothing goes into fire and comes out without scars. <laughs> <laughs> Do we understand the Bwefi Ezenwa to me? That we should swallow our flame to endure humiliations without even raising a finger? You are asking? No, no, I mean nothing of the sort. <laughs> I mean that we must first examine our cause to know if what we want is just and without blemish. Mm. Have we forgotten that the oracle of the hills and the cave forbids us from fighting a fight of blame? Uma fia kwenu! 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 Kwenzuanu! We shall not tolerate any more delays. Let Obwefi Ezeodu nominate three kindred in Diche to consult with the oracle while our emissaries Go to me, no. Quenu! 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 Is that the will of the people? Yes. Is that the will of the people? Yes. Yes. Ogwefi Ezeodu. The people have spoken. You shall speak. Majority of our people say yes. So stands it. Mm -hmm. And so, with your authority, I nominate Obwe Vidigo oh. and Obwe Vyazugo to accompany me to the Oracle. That shall be done immediately. Mm -hmm. Shall be our emissary is Tombai, no. You shall lead them. Yeah. Yeah. What the elders intend to do to us. How can anyone know? Find good. Your own people, in accordance with their will, turns against you. Mm. If only they had instructed us not to hunt for heads at Umofia, we could have gone somewhere else. Yes, we could have gone somewhere else. And now, we have to pay the price of obedience to the will of our people. Did you say price? What price? Eh? What price could it be, Osondo? That is one question I cannot answer. Why we are here. 
what could have made been joy and jubilation makes us grave. But we must be brave, very brave. Beno has men, young and old, who know good and bad. Beno has wisdom. She has strength. Beno has decision. All that we have must help us to find a solution of honor to the matter before us. Umafia has sent a message that the emissaries will be coming to meet us even before we have had time to gather here to discuss this matter. If Umofia want, wants to come, let them come. If Umofia wants to come, let them come. <laughs> we must be equal to them in all respects. True. You know, when? Yeah. 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 We know it is the custom that when the chief priest of Ani dies, he goes with three human heads. But the heads are got from distant towns One. that are known to be weak and fearful of war. That's true. Isn't it so? It's true. Obwe Fioka, you seem to waste much time on dead matters. Who amongst us here Has ever heard that women ever accompany our great priests of Ani to the land of the spirit? Or do you kill more time talking? I think talking. we've blamed this man enough. We have blamed them enough. They did what they did in good faith. We show away the kite from carrying the chicken. Later, we blame the chicken for wandering into the vicinity of the kite. What I ask is, what do we do with Omofia? That is my question. That is what we are here to decide. Decide? Obwe Fidike, did I hear you say decide? Yes. Is it for us to decide from we know what to do with Umofia? Mm. And they forbid. That mandate was not given to us. That is what I say about elders who come to the arena with their ears closed. Obwe Fiamadi. Why are we here discussing if we had no mandate? So, so, so my ear is closed. Obwe Fidike, you say my, my ear is closed. Abada, 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 Sit 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 down. No, let, let, let it be. Let the sky fall. We are all under it. All of us. Obo Fidike is right. The mandate was given to us by all the villages. And that is why all the villages are here represented. Or is there anyone that is not here? But shall we talk here with Osondo and Okachi around? Ask them. My, my ear is closed. Obo Fiodo, Mazo Kachi. And our son will be told that justice will prevail. But I shall tell them Go myself. Right away. 
if we have any decision to make on Okachi and Osondo, let us make it now before it is too late. We play on time and decision while the drum of danger thunders in our ear. Why? Mbina, uh. Quen! Mbina, yeah. Quen! Yeah. Quen! Yeah. Quen's when? Yeah. Um, a tree that falls across a fence, destroying it, is used to mend it. So, Okachi and Osondo should be sacrificed to Mofia. Amade, sit! I say sit down. Sit down! Why do you talk like a man who has no blood in him? Who here? It's born of a wretched and weak blood. Ogwefidike, I stand by what I said. I say I stand by what I said. Yes, stand and tell the gods of this land of our fathers that I, Ogwefidike, did not hear you. Mazi <sighs> Amade. It is outrageous. and a desecration of the land that two full-blooded dippers of Mbaino to be sacrificed to compensate for a woman just a woman hmm. ask Amadi and Mbaino shall forbid it then, then do we go to war for a crime we all know, all of us, we all know, should have been avoided? Do we? <laughs> Mino Kwenu? Yeah. yeah. Kwenu? Yeah. Kwenu? Yeah. yeah. This matter is like the tetsi fly that has perched on the scrotum. It is dangerous, no matter what you do to it. Let us understand you, Bufia Kando. Hmm. The matter is delicate. It is like walking on a stick across a deep and wide river. It is fraught with danger, no matter what you do to it. Now, what I ask is this. What do we do to save Okachi and Osondo without going to war with Umofia? That is my question. Frozen! Yeah. yeah! Let us not be cowards before the call of war. Yes, Umofia is filmed for her numerous warriors. So what? I say, so what? If they want war, they should have war. They should have war. If war is inevitable, then we should be prepared. If they want blood, we match blood with blood. Nothing more, nothing less. Oh, <laughs> I do not know if Mbaino is prepared for war now. If we say yes, then we shall be. The only option open to us is to send emissaries to Umofia. No, 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 no. Speak no more of that. Why? I say speak no more of that. I say why? <clears throat> Elders of Mbino, we must be careful what we say. We do not cut the nose to spite the face. 
sending emissaries to Umofia is aware of admitting weakness. Let Umofia come to us first if they want. Hmm. But, wait. These men have children. To give to Umofia? Yes. Mm, yeah. Yes, they are. How sad. Terribly sad. Their children are our children. Are they not? Ukachi and Osondo. Not their children. I mean, they, they act from there, no? Not for themselves. We send them. Why should they pay for a mistake committed on our behest? It is absolutely useless talking like this, Master DK. Rather than lose the matchet, they discovered, they destroyed. Um, <clears throat> elders of Mbino, rather than turn a wrestle into a fight, let the rain fall. Let to catch and Osondo decide between themselves whose child should be sacrificed. It is for Umofia to decide what to do with them. Your decision is wrong and painful. If you have nothing else to say, then we should go. <clears throat> For me, if Umofia wants war, they shall have wars. I offer nothing more and nothing less. Until you call for war to destroy the arrogance and thirst of the people of Umofia. was sent in by Rose Ung from India. And her question is, in this man's world, what do you think you can change that a man cannot? First and foremost, I entered the Miss World competition because I know it's a very charitable organization. And in this man's world, if there's anything I can do to be to help the less privileged in the society because I really, really want to give them as much help as I can give. I love helping the needy at all times and I have this great love for humanity that helps me and prompts me to be the best I can be and to help everyone in need. Miss World 2001. Dowry to marry. A father with a dubious heart. 
The only benefit is for her to work on my farm. An innocent young girl who wants to be educated. Shut up. government education is free. You are not going to secondary school. Why don't you allow her to A rainy husband who chases anything in skirts. Two lovers whose hearts beat as one. Big Surprise, a movie that will entertain and educate you. A story about a young girl determined to complete her education. You will stop going to school and resume and Big Surprise, a film produced by Dr. Polika Okafor and directed by Francis Ago. Starring Gloria Anose, Francis Ago, Ubert Eter, Chris Egareva, Riley Babs Ekmayon, and Tony Alao. Big Surprise, marketed and distributed by Brandy Video Corporation, 5 Indidem Isang Iso Road, Calaba, 1 Kokwade Lane, Idumoto, Lagos, 37 Oran Road, Uyo, Aqua Ebom, and 51 Iweka Road, Orija. Get into that room and get out of this place. Big surprise, it will surprise you. That girl is my daughter. Oh, my black powder, bring love back to me. I need it more than anyone could know. You can't do anything! What happens when a wife goes beyond the limit? Oh, God, shut that gate, huh? And her brother-in-law dies. Ah! What happens when a wife tries to charm her husband? He will love you 100 times more than he loved you before you two got married. And a madman falls in love instead. I'm looking for my love. She's here. What happens when there's a triangle? I cannot reverse it. And there is no solution. Brandy Video Corporation presents Black Powder, a movie magnet production. An intriguing and thrilling drama, Black Powder, starring Gloria Anose, Zach Oji, Obot Eto, Sam Onga, Larry Williams, Sonny McDonald, Francis Doro, and Thelma Wosu. Black Powder, directed by Moses Ebere, produced by Sam Onga and Kinsley Ngene. Now, here is a deal. Buy a copy of Black Powder videotape and be part of the Bonanza and get to win fabulous prizes. Free all expense paid weekend for 200 couples at Festac Hotel, Doba Hotel, Banex Hotels and Tower Abuja. Star prize, a Honda Civic. Second prize, Nokia mobile phone. Third prize, 20 inch gold star color TV and lots of consolation prizes. Go buy a copy now. Black Powder, distributed and marketed by Brandy Video Corporation, 102 Nandia Zikwe Street, Idumota, Lagos, and 5 Indidem Iso Road, formerly 52 Marian Road, Calabar. Black Powder, seeing is believing. A house divided against itself can never stand. So, what happens to a house on fire? Brandy Video Corporation presents A.G.K. Siemu, Gloria Anose, Charles Okafo, and Francis Joe in House on Fire. Putting the house together seems to be a tall order. House on Fire, an exciting and thrilling movie. Win exciting prizes as you buy a copy of House on Fire. Free 1,000 t-shirts and face caps and lots of other consolation prizes. So hurry, buy a copy of House on Fire. Distributed and marketed by Brandy Video Corporation, 102 Mendes in Dumata, Lagos. House on fire. Don't burn yours. She is everything but good. She possesses the power to turn day to night and night to day. She is your sister-in-law. Brandy Video Corporation, in association with Stetchy Productions, presents Sam Loco Efe, Hilda Dokubo, JG Tomwa, Joseph Adekwa, Rachel Oniga, and special guest star appearance, Chinyere Iroya Agenji, in a quest to overcome the power within, even at the expense of her own brother's life. She is your sister-in-law. Ndidi, a woman who had all but wanted more out of love. A man's utmost desire to serve his master gets shattered. His inability to control his feelings brings confusion into his home. Sister-in-law, success is joy, and failure is the surest way to a fast ending. Sister-in-law, your worst nightmare comes back alive. When a man loses his vision, he loses his dignity. His beach to regain his pride could be dangerous. Larisha is her name. Greed is her game. In an attempt to save her name as a high-class lady, she finds herself in a deeper mess. There is a limit to a woman's endurance, but true love never dies. When the cup of deceit and lies becomes full, trouble soaks you up. 
Granny Video Corporation presents Sonny Magdon Rai and Arinze Jideko Soko Rachel Oniga in a movie magnet production The, the Mirror. Mirror The Mirror a captivating movie The Mirror a three-day movie The Mirror a humorous chart buster also starring Ok Mike Anthony oh. Sam Owoka Kiki Iyama Chimetalo Ago and many more produced by Kingsley Ngene and Sam Owoka the producers of Black Powder and directed by Moses Eberi The Mirror pick it up now Don't forget the brownie movie Bonanza is still on a copy of The Mirror can also qualify you. Mm -hmm. Please fall apart, thunder, set your thunder. 